Hello friends, Amanda here with you today. I am on my day seven of 24 days of Christmas takes and I have used Sweet November Stamps Alpine Polar Bear. He is adorable. I'm using W3, W1, and W0 for my shading. And you can see by the coloring, I'm not going in straight smooth lines. I'm being a little more jagged and a little more rough. I wanted him to look a little puffy and a little fuzzy. So in order to get that look, I thought I would use a little more of a jagged shading line instead of smooth. Going into all of the heavier shaded places with the W3 first, and then I will come back in with the W1 and fade it out, and then the W0 to fade it out even further. I have been having so much fun creating these tags so far this year. Uh, if you haven't seen some of my other tags, I am on Instagram, and I will link that in the description box below, along with the adorable digital stamp of Alpine, the little polar bear. And yeah, I will catch you back in a little bit. I'm gonna turn on some music and you guys can watch me color. Okay, now I'm going to use W1 and I'm going to give him a little bit of shading. I'm also going to come in with W3 to darken that up just right directly underneath his body and underneath the scarf to give it some grounding. And then I'm going to fussy cut a mask and place that over him and then we're going to do some ink blending. Okay, and now we're gonna do some ink blending. 
One of the easiest and fastest ways to make a background look seamless is to ink blend. And I have already masked off this adorable little alpine polar bear. I'm using Blue Lagoon from Gina K. That's my first color that I'm going to put down. And then I'm going to use In the Navy from Gina K. And then just right around the edges, I'm going to use uh, Soot Distress Ink. And blend that all up. Isn't he going to turn out so cute? All right. Now just making sure it's a seamless blend. And then I'm going to use the In the Navy from Gina K Designs. I love this color. It is my favorite deep blue. It always does the job. It's a perfect color and I love it. The tag that is the dye that I've used on this is from La La Land Crafts. It will be in the description box below. So if you wanna go ahead and pick it up, you can. And then I'm going to use the Black Soot Distress Ink on just the edges. And now the big reveal. This is always the magical part. And now we're gonna add some snow. Isn't it adorable? I love it. So cute. I used a sentiment from Tim Holtz. A wonderful Christmas. And there it is. Super adorable little tag anybody would love to have. Thanks for coming and spending a few minutes with me today. I do hope you like and subscribe and stop in again. Thanks. Bye.